Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of, oh my god, we have number one approval? When do you ever see that in one of my games? Sid Meier, Civilization V, as Poland, we are the tech leaders and the approval leaders, we have 16 happiness right now, which is pretty good, income's not bad, we're uh, rapidly building up an air force, and we're almost certainly going to strike on Jakarta, because there's no way they don't attack me. I'm assuming they haven't done it at this point yet, because, um, mostly because of the defensive pack I have with the Incas, which I believe will be broken the second I declare war, and it's possible that the, uh, the Indonesian might bribe the Zulus to join in, or the Zulus might jump in, just, um, opportunistically. We'll see how it goes. I'm happy that we've got Mabonzo Congo, which have some great war infantry to help defend this flank in a very cool and sexy way. We can build the Manhattan Project, which we will want to do at some point, but I feel no need to rush it. Oh, that's right. We got the tech. Do we have any uh, uranium? No. There's some right there. That's four uranium. We don't actually have any. I, I forgot to check that once we got the right tech. Hmm, now all of a sudden the Citadel is uh, pretty impressive. There's no way they knew there was uranium there, however. Do the Indonesians have any I can steal? No. Do the Incas have any I can steal? No, not in any easy way. What the hell? This is the only source of uranium I can see at a glance. I mean, there's probably something I'm just not seeing because I'm bad at that. This may just be a very uranium poor map. Which can happen. How's Thebes doing? Archaeologists, they're still doing that sort of thing. They're going to bump up their culture, which is the reason I'm sort of going after them. Interesting. Well, we're, we shouldn't need nukes, actually. We should have, because we have so much oil, we should be perfectly fine. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Another bomber, so this is going to be another um, city bonus, just because, like, taking out cities super fast is really the goal most of the time. Let's go ahead and build these walls here in woods, followed by a castle, just because we have Neutronstein, including right there, which is quite good. Um... So we get lots of benefits from it. It's also nice free defense from like random invasions. Although this, well, I think Woods is probably safe. I think if they're good to go anywhere, it'd be pausing. Because these mountains would really slow them down. That is a lot of archaeologists. Where the hell are they going? I don't know. I really would like to declare war soon before they got too many planes. Finish the walls. Let's get the castle going just because we get so many bonuses from it. Choose production over here. Another great war bomber is done. We have a castle. Yes, we do. Um, now, markets... Or, A, they're good by themselves, but they also lead to banks, which give us additional happiness. So we will want all those at some point. But I think at this point, the key is just to keep building ridiculous amounts of bombers. Just because the air superiority will help. We got a castle finished here, which is nice. Um, we don't have a barracks and armory here in Posen. So I'm, I'm thinking this is going to continue to not be somewhere where we build military units at this time. Um, do I want to reset these tiles at all? And more of those, getting a little bit more tech. I think that's probably okay. We actually use this as a place to build something like the um, the Manhattan Project, which wouldn't be terrible. Um, we might want to go market into bank here, or even keep building amphitheaters. I think that's the, the sort of idea. Actually, let's build an aqueduct here to speed things up, then maybe an amphitheater. We don't need the arsenal, though. Um, I think we're going to be defended enough. Go ahead and get uh, one more bonus against cities. Move you here. I'm actually going to take the one that's got the bombardment bonus. Right over here. I'm going to pull it back to woods once more. And we're going to hopefully fit in four bombers in here that can just attack cities. And that'll be okay. Um, so, any other promotions I want to do on the front? Do I want to get these to all be Gatling guns? I think so. And this is generally going to be the front, so we'll go ahead and do that. Actual infantry, actual infantry, you got that. This pikeman, um, 200 to a wing to sar, fine. It's not the strongest, but they will do for now. This cavalry is fine. That Gatling gun, just in case back here, is fine. We've got some great war infantry there. And quite a bit of planes. Lots of great war bombers positioned on my border. They might be plotting something. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move this infantry. Um, maybe down over here. Or even in the mountains. Uh, I don't want to be bombarded, though, is the only thing. I'm going to move it near Poznan. Actually... I got to dig up this archaeological site as well. Anyway, Poznan. Build the aqueduct. Then build me an archaeologist. And you stand on that tile. Probably why there's so many archaeologists here. Um, Zurich is flipped. Valletta is flipped. We're no longer paying gold per turn to Shaka. That was probably for a war declaration at some point. Um, next turn. We have to declare war sooner rather than later. Ramsey's declared war on Maria. That's very nice, actually. Hopefully, Maria is going to be perfectly fine. And across our fingers, anything that keeps Ramsey's busy is good. And, whoa, Golden Age, really. And the Zulus, are you in war? You're in war with Pocatello. Lovely. 
great. Uh, you, I think, are a new unit. So, you are, indeed. Um, where do we want to put you? I think what we're going to do is give you drill. Give you... And then a level of cover. And we're actually... Might set up some defense here in the mountains. For now, though, come down near Poznan. That'll be fine enough. Uh, Great War Bomber with the Bombard ability. Should I just... Maybe I should have just left him there and just declared right now. Anyway, let's declare... Let's declare next turn. We don't have much in the way of artillery. Which is a bit of a downer. But what we can do is something like this. Like this. We're going to declare war next turn. Um... Up here, up here, we can go ahead and pillage the Citadel first turn using the Hussar, which is going to be really, really nice. Um, we're going to move you here and... <sighs> Let's upgrade you. You can probably shoot at some ships, actually, which will be quite nice. These Hussars will have to use their rapid movement to go around there. Our goal is to go to Jakarta. The problem is squeezing through here will be tight. It's a good thing we have so much air support. It's going to be very, very, very important. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go ahead and move these extra Hussars down to the south because there's going to be some stuff for them to mess up there. Great Bomber, sit tight, sit tight, sit tight, wait. And uh, did I miss position here? Oh, no, it's okay. End your turn. That war, choose more production. Infantry, um, we're also, we are going to need more artillery, although with air support, and right now they've got no fighters, we really won't need much in the way of artillery. Uh, right this second. I'm going to go ahead and pop out at least one more infantry just because it'll make me feel a little bit better to have the uh, the ground support. Um, and uh, it's a worker. I wonder if we can be in a position to pillage this stuff. They're all going to move, of course. But we'll see. If we can pillage some extra trade routes right off the start, that'll feel pretty good. We, of course, will lose at least one of our own trade routes that'll have to be rebuilt, but that's okay. Do do do. Oh, right, you had a loan. No, we don't need to renew that. It's not very useful. Would you like to buy more iron? You'd give me five oil for it. Listen, I don't need oil. I got lots of oil, but why don't you give me um, more money? Holy crap, because you are dumb. Should have just asked for a fixed amount, but I'm hoping they don't declare war on me right now. Ballistics, machine guns, anti-aircraft guns. So we do have to spend a little bit more money. And radar. Research agreement finished. Nice. Okay, the airport will actually be pretty helpful for this, not to mention actual bombers. Uh, what do we spend our money on is the question. I did want to declare war. How much is the upgrade here? Only 110 gold. I think having actual bombers is the number one priority. And just not enough gold for that. Although we can upgrade one more per turn. And uh, going to machine guns, pretty expensive. But I think it's going to be okay. Uh, do we want to reset up the research agreements? Well, obviously not with Indonesia. I didn't realize that Incas was also in the exact same phase. 30 turns before we declare to the Incas? No, I think there's a good chance we'll declare before that, and in fact, they may declare war on me. So, with that in mind, um, we're going to go ahead in this position, I think would be a great place for a bomber. Bomber, right there. At some point, we're going to want crazy amounts of rocket artillery, but not quite yet. We got there. Um, this cat, whoops. This cavalry. Move on to this time. Oh, I guess they're going to bounce because they're probably trading with my city. So they'll get insta squeezed out as soon as the war happens. I don't think I'll get to actually pillage them. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's go ahead and declare war. Because we can. Um, You. Oh, I just upgraded some of my units here. Do I want to declare war this turn? My other bombers are going to sort of be asleep. Um... No, I guess I'll wait one more turn so my other bombers are actually awake and can come into the battle. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, Great War Bomber, sit tight. This caravan, we're going to make sure to redirect uh, somewhere safe. Um, no one else needed a trade route? No. We could... From here, we can't do any other external things. We might just send some hammers somewhere. I don't think so. I think what we're going to do is we're going to change you to uh, something like Rockla. And open up some more external trade possibilities. This bomber do nothing. This Gatling gun sit tight for now. This artillery, you are set up and ready to attack. You fortify, fortify. It's possible that they will um, prompt me to declare war. It'd be like, what's going on here, buddy? Um, in which case, that would be kind of sucky because um, I don't want them to attack me on their turn. 
But lying to them might not be particularly healthy. Maybe I should just declare war right now. Because there's a good chance. We don't have open borders, right? With Indonesia. We have nothing in the sort. We've got enough stuff on the border. They're probably going to bug me and say, hey, we notice a lot of buildup. I don't want to lie to them, but I also don't want them to attack me on their turn. Okay, you know what? We're going to declare this turn regardless. We're not going to be able to move everything. We had a lot of trade routes. Holy crap. Well, they had a lot of trade routes to me, uh, which is part of it. We did plunder that right away. Okay, so as long as we were on the same square. Interesting. We lost our diplomat, which we can now move. Yeah. And move you to be in... Um, where are you going to be? Cuzco. Potentially as a spy? No, just as a diplomat. That's fine. And we'll keep going with the uh, the vision. Cuzco, Cuzco, right there. Diplomat. Okay. We're going to hop in here. Oh, you actually capture the archaeologist. Oh, all right. Um, and then hop back. Is there any chance this guy can destroy? Great War Infantry do have a lot of strength. And we don't get defensive bonuses. I'll just hop back. He'll probably just go and try to recapture that guy, which is fine. Um... We are going to make sure to bomb with what we've got. Now, this is a frigate, which can actually do a range attack. So we're going to go ahead and start smashing that down. And, oh, we do have enough to upgrade right now. Oh, because we pillaged. Yeah, all right. We're going to get to do one airstrike here. We'll do that. I don't think we'll get interrupted by any, or intercepted by anything, which is fine and groovy. Let's start moving here. That is a lot of stuff pillaging, and then I'm out of move. So I'll lose the Hussar, but they will not get the benefit of the Citadel, which is worth a lot. Um, hopefully this infantry can survive if I go here. There's not a whole lot of bombard potentials, so I'm actually going to feel relatively okay with that. Um, now, I don't have a great general, do I? No. <laughs> never, never did enough war to get one. Do I want to move up here? I don't think so. I think I'm quite content there. I think I will move this unit up here for now. And then perhaps move you right over there. All right. So we're not moving that many units. We don't have that many units. But uh, overall, we're okay. I had this extra Gatling gun sitting around near my capital. And protecting it is good. But the capital is going to continue to produce units. So there should always be units near the capital. So I think it'll be okay. These crossbows uh, now need two upgrade levels. You know what? It's time for them to go. It's just time. We're going to get almost no money from it. But hey, at least we'll uh, open up some supply. We're down to six trade routes, which isn't too bad. Next turn. Hopefully we used everyone we're supposed to use. We did use, lose that Hussar, which is what I expected. But I think we only lost the one that bombarded this Gatling gun, because sure, that makes sense. Why not? Lost a quest. You can fire on an enemy, so please do. It's only this Ironclad. And you can fire there as well, which is fine. Great War Bomber. Let's go ahead and upgrade you and finish that off. Actual bombers. Now, this is the one with the city. Uh, one of these has the um, naval bombard. Or is that the one I just upgraded now? I think it's the one I just upgraded now. Hey, we got another policy. Broadcast tower finish here. Um, it might be worth going barracks into armory on the front. On the other hand, this is a big city that could use a research lab. In fact, this is a core of a lot of my science, so having a research lab here would be a huge boost. And do that. See about a new level 2 tenant. I don't think we need a volunteer army. It's actually not bad, although at this point the Foreign Legion infantry might be a little outdated. The six units for free is nice. Um, urbanization is going to be a pretty sexy for us. On the other hand, Arsenal to Democracy. 15% bonus production when building military units, and we're going into a military kind of thing. I think we're going to be spamming them out for the rest of the game, so it'll be okay. Let me kill that frigate off. Makes me feel good. Feels good, man. Um, this, I would like to focus mostly on thinning the herd right now. So what we're going to do is bomb them a little bit with the planes. As much as possible. There we go. And then go ahead and pop over there. We're going to, I'll just automate this worker or something, but I'll, I'll move them manually back to start off with. Over here, these are like pretty significant defeats, but then I can run away. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I'm going to apply a little bit of beat down, run away, and then try to finish it off with him. Let's hit that. And do that. Not quite a finish, but pretty close. You are going to fortify until healed. You, Mr. Caravan, are going to be about getting gold from the Incas. That'll work for now. The Incas do declare on me. I will be hurt. This is a grassland, not a hill. Um, and I don't want to dart over there. I'm just going to fortify where I am for now, which is going to be okay. Um, 
anywhere I move here, I'm gonna get bombarded. So I don't think it makes sense to move with his infantry yet. Although, hold on, no, scratch that. I gotta kill the artillery. That is insanely important. Even if it means losing this infantry, trimming down their ranged attack potential is very, very, very important for actually making forward progress. Luckily, we are building a little bit more infantry, and we've got lots of cavalry, lots of fast-moving dudes to go and take the city. Um, Yervin declared war on me. Um, things have been bombarded, bombarded, bombarded. What did I actually lose, though? I heard a sound that I lost a unit, but I don't know what it was. Okay, Krakow can fire an enemy. So, none of these have range. So, let's just go ahead and finish what we can. That's this. We made... Oh, we purchased our Great Profit, which may or may not be risky at this point. I'm going to go back to remind me later. Although, you know what? Hold on. Let's queue up another Great Scientist. That'll be okay. Um, Yervin declared war. I don't even know where Yervin is. Is that relevant in any way whatsoever? I don't think so. Can promote this unit. I think an insta-heal would actually be very beneficial here. So we're going to do that and then just tell this guy to uh, stay fortified for now. Now, what I would like to do is kill this infantry off, but I'm not sure we're in a position to do that. We will keep, uh, keep on keeping on. That would be nice, too. Do this, and then, is that a safe position? I can be bombarded by Madan and an artillery, and maybe hit by a Great War infantry? It's probably safe. Aircraft carriers, wow. This guy, I'm just going to automate you. That is not a safe place for you to be, but whatever. Let's do a quick little pot shot over there. This bomber, still relatively healthy, so I will go ahead and actually go and apply a little bit of beats over there. Whoa! That is a lot of damage. Get back to you. You rest. You pull back. Go into the city. You, let's move this way. Bombard. This way. Smack you. Oh, didn't kill you, but that's okay. Almost dead. I should pillage that um, coal, I think. So, okay, planes. You, I'm going to tell you to rest. Because there's a little bombard or interception potential. You. Do that. That's pretty good. Oh, this is the one with the actual bonus. Should probably use you first. Wow. Oh, we can kill off the artillery in one shot. Let's please do that. You, yeah, hmm. I'd rather not lose the worker, but it doesn't really matter too terribly much. Go ahead and do that. Can I kill this? I can, and I think that's probably a relatively good move, so I will do that. Um, that's good. Nice forward progress there. These guys have mostly moved. That's that. You are resting. We've got our uh, archaeologists coming here for there. Building the research lab, which is fine. We've still got lots of happiness. Bombers coming through. We're still in a golden age, which is pretty sexy. More bombers will be nice, um, mostly to control the area, although I'm not sure how much they're going to be able to help. I think we've got a limit of four planes without an airport, right? A uh, civilian was captured. We did lose a unit. I think this one... The one here who went to kill the artillery, which in hindsight I should just maybe use the bombers for. derp a derp Um. Do that. Bullied. Civilian was captured. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, no, we lost a guy here! Really? Well, that's, that's quite poor, actually. Um, you... What are you being hit by? Seriously. Ironclads can't bombard. Privateers can't bombard. Can they? Um, -da 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 -da. No, melee. Privateer. I know they can't, because they're melee, because they can take things. Am I being bombered? Or, what the fuck just happened? Okay, I accidentally clicked. I accidentally right-clicked somewhere with the artillery selected, which means we bombarded a cavalry, which is probably far from ideal, but isn't the death of us. I'm going to go ahead and take this shot. It'd be nice to upgrade this guy at some point, but for now we're going to make do. Um, I think what I'm going to do is pillage to bring up my health. And then I can, I can only move one square anywhere. And we're going to go and stand there, which should be relatively safe. Um, this archaeologist will go here. I'll go and tell him to dig. Uh, a in new infantry. We're going to... Um, if you're coming in the south, you'll probably want drill. And actually, if we're eventually going to attack the Incans, it'll be a little handier. But cover is very, very sexy at this stage in the game, I think. I'm going to move you that way. Great general, it's about time. We are, it's going to be risky bringing you up to the top here because there's a lot of potential um, um, amphibious landings that we got to worry about. So I'm going to move you there. This, I think it's worth taking, the archaeologist, and then hiding in the city and telling you to heal. 
Archaeologist will probably be retaken by this cavalry, but then we can instantly turn around and kill it again. Fortify until healed. You are in pretty good shape. Um, what do I want to take pot shots at? Eventually the city, but it's still important to just whittle down their total troop numbers. Um, oh, that's a frigate that can actually shoot, so let's do that. And can't insta-kill him. So what we'll do, we'll take this opportunity to upgrade, or maybe I should rest him to full first. It'd be suck to upgrade this guy and then have him die. Um, do I want to give him cover or anything of the sort? I think mostly defensive-y stuff. I like, I like putting these guns in good defensive locations. I think we'll give you barrage, get you to heal, and then look into a, an upgrade soon. Another infantry over there, which I think is fine. I'm going to build an, uh, an airport in Warsaw with the idea that we're going to put a crap ton of bombers in there. And hopefully, oh, you know what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's in range of bombers. That'll be fine. We got a nice airport there, good air superiority. They've got a lot of planes, including some triplanes that can potentially shoot down our bombers, so we'll have to see how that goes. You take drill, rest. You are going to rest in position. And you're going to go ahead and scooch up a little bit. What are these tiles? Oh, the training posts, okay. Uh, great profit. You're going to go to Samarkand because you want my religion. This bomber, are we going to use you right now? We could pretty safely just finish this guy off, which I think is what I'm going to do. Also good for experience points. This cavalry can rest. And that's pretty good. Um, we did lose an extra... We lost a couple of units, and maybe we had to or didn't have to uh, do that. I think the war is going to go fine. I think Jakarta will eventually fall to us. We do have massive air dominance, which is good. Right now we're killing a lot more units than we are losing, and we should be able to make forward progress there. Um... We will probably have to, well, we may have to amphibious some people out here. I'm a little worried that this trio of units will have a hard time actually reaching Jakarta. Once we have Jakarta, we'll have a great foothold, and we'll be able to keep pushing. And certainly we can bomb it down to nothingness very fast. I just don't know. No, I think an amphibious melee unit can take a city. So if need be, I can put something in the sea if I take care of the ships. We'll see how it goes. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.